welcome to episode 91 of Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Um, it's optimistically entitled, Let's Finish, Grim Fandango, and that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and finish Grim Fandango. Uh, but I can't do it on my own, because we can't do these things on our own. We need our point-and-click connoisseur, point-and-click adventurer, it might be. Um, so let's swap screens and meet extraordinaire, no, moderator extraordinaire, Naughty Cluster. <laughs> Just moderately extraordinary. Moderate, moderately extraordinary. <laughs> ah. Thanks. Hey. So, um, obviously, we, we broadcast uh, last, uh, last on Christmas Day. Last year. Last year uh, on Christmas Day. And um, what, a, what a, an experience that was to get away from our families on Christmas Day and join everybody live on YouTube. Joyous it was. It was. Uh, but we're back again this week now. And it hasn't been two weeks since we've played this. So I'm sure we're super perfect in what we're going to do. And we're going to crack on and solve it Can tonight. Can you remember where we are? Because I can't. No. <laughs> That's your job. Really? Uh huh. Oh, shit. My job was to remember left shift. Possibly the most important thing to remember. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you remember where we are? Like, whose office is this? We are in the office of a lady skeleton who. Okay. Um, and I think it was the lady we've been chasing. Right. And okay. we've just done something with a, an anchor and a... No, uh, didn't we just do something with her um, ashtray? Well, shall we, um, shall we just find out where we are by going back to the game exactly where we left it and um, yeah. see, shall we? Yeah, 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 let's do that. Uh, Okay. Um, if anyone joins us in chat, I, I'm I'm full screening, um, Grim Fandango, so I won't actually see the chat. But um, yeah, e enjoy anyway. I'll keep popping back <laughs> when I look. So here we are. Um, children's books. Okay, children. Okay. Lightning. That's the um Okay. It's our yeah, ex colleague, yeah. but he's the boss of this place, isn't he? Yeah, what's his name? Can't remember. Domino. Shall we have a chat with him, see what he says? Yeah. Domino. Domino! Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle this scene. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss, Hector, that way. What did you do with her? I thought she needed a little uh, time out, that's all. You killed my best friend. The demon? <sighs> Manny, you can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's just not natural. What? Why don't you just sprout me like you tried to put a sapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative. Just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know, I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. What makes you think I'm going to work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work. Take it for me. And think about it. Once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. 
much. Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. I'm taking Mechi out of this dungeon. Manny, before I found her, she spent a year out there in a petrified forest alone because of you. By comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my uh, dungeon. Wouldn't you say? I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns, I have all the transportation, and I have all the brains. What are you gonna do? You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh, no, that's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead telling everybody how we stole their double-in tickets, now can we? You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Capal <laughs> would root all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard <laughs> at the pearl. Um... Wait. You were getting all the good clients. I handled them all, um, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me. And then we point where we need to ride, be looking for corridor with a wheel in it. Rubicava. I tell corridor you, with Manny, a wheel. Hot rods like yeah. that just don't look safe okay. to me. Because Meshe, she's locked up now, yeah? Do we need to finish this conversation? I don't think so. So it wasn't my right. fault Meshe didn't get a ticket. You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest instead of coming here right away. But I fixed that. Well, I got to get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. Got an achievement for that, so that's all good. Yeah. Right, the only way out is back out this door. Okay. And then... Here we go, there's the wheel. I'm Must be a combination you, lock, but there are no numbers on it. Poor Don was never good with numbers. Manny! Um, we use the bus stall on it. I promise I won't pull guns on anyone anymore! Well, she's annoying, it's... isn't she? What are you doing? It's me. Trying to twist the door open. Use the bus stall on hey! it. Use the what? The bus stall. I think I'm running out of air. Hugsy! Hugsy! Right. Say the words you said again, but slower. Bust. I think I'm running oh. out of air. The bust. Manny, where are you? It's a bus stall. This isn't funny. I don't want to mess up the Manny, wheel. The where wheel's my are friend. You? No. Okay. Is there anybody out there? Help! He says use the bus door on the right hand section Manny! of the door to get a good look at the tumblers. I don't want to mess up the wheel. The wheel's my friend. Let me out! Can't see the tumblers. I don't want to bust all that. Domino, you'd better let me out of here. If I bust all the handle, then I'm Manny, never going to get where in there. are you? Oh, God, she's Go doing my head in. I'm sorry I didn't trust you. It said right-hand side of the door. Help! I'm getting angry! I must have I'm hit a angry. major circuit. Hmm. But okay, it looks like see I've the tumblers. The guts here. So apparently this bit's quite fiddly. I'm bust all that. Okay. So it might take us a while to get it right. What we oh, need yeah. to do is make sure that the flat ends of the tumblers lined up neatly the with the right hand the edge of the door. Well, how can I get to them then? I couldn't get them out. They're on some sort of hip. I can't move those by hand. I need this wheel. Oh, I see. Right. Okay.
There we go. So we want them to line up neatly with the outside of the door, that line in the door. Oh. Oh, they all move together. Yeah. Gone too far with that oh. one. Oh, that looked right. Forward a little bit. But no, you're not right there. The the bottom two needed to go in a little bit. Other way. Three are great. I think the bottom one's off. Take that back. <laughs> there. Yes, that could be right. What? Oh, and I had them so nicely lined up and everything. Those are the tumblers of the combination lock. Okay, it obviously wasn't quite right. look right there, don't they? Ah, uh, stop. What? Oh, and I had them so nicely lined up oh. and everything. I'm sure they were lined up then. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry, my fault. Let's line them up again. The other direction. No, 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 no. They were lined up this wheel. We need them lined up exactly like before. Couldn't get them out. They're on those are the tumblers of the combination lock. I can't move those by hand. I need this wheel. Do you have to do it a certain amount? Okay, line? move it left. No, no. I'm doing it again though, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's not picking it up that time. Now what? Perfect. Now use Manny's scythe on that gap. Stay. There we go. Now you can open the door. All right, Mitchy, you can come out now. Mitchy? Right, shut oh, the door behind you. Hey? Shut the door behind you. Oh, I was hoping to not shut it. 
I wanted to put the scythe in front of it to uh -oh, stop it from shutting. Oh, Raul, I am so, so sorry. <laughs> so, um, see the gold connector up the top there? Looks yep. like years and years of coral harvest you reports. Did you say it on it? This secret safe is meant to hold. How are we supposed to all work this out by ourselves? I don't know. We'd be here all of 2024, wouldn't we? Manny, I One way. Why is that door closed? Uh, it was the only way I, uh, uh the wind? Oh. <laughs> Still going to the secret room. Hey, this is my room. Go use up the air in your own room. Um, and use your side on the sprinkler system. I don't want to mess up my blade. Now, all we have to do is wait for the room to fill up and we'll just float on out of here. Well, this is disappointing. Not to me. We don't float, remember? <laughs> okay, go into... The... Oh, hold on a minute. Make a note of the tile the water runs through. What? <laughs> um... In, in what respect? I don't know. Okay, uh, sorry. Next, go to the wheel on the wall and use it to drain the water. There we go. And that we've got to make sure we know which tile. Thank you. Okay. So, one one by the middle. Yeah, okay. Okay, go back into the last room you were in, then take the axe that's lying on the floor over on the far side. There we go. Man, Big, people in the old days were huge. Okay. Um, he doesn't run when he's got that axe. <laughs> Not surprised. Okay, drop it on that tile. Ugh, it's a cosa is heavy. Right, cool. After you. What about the suitcases? What's in these cases? Take a look. It's all the double end tickets Hector and Dom have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double in tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean they move? They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double in tickets? Ah, it doesn't matter. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go. I'm so glad to see you. Aww. Is the boat all ready? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. <laughs> Works like crazy. Full speed ahead. What? Oh. Uh... 
are you really going to bring me back and try to get your old job again? There's no job for me now, except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you aren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? Meche, I... I needed to find you. Drama. I give you one job, Manny, and look at you already screwing it up. <clears throat> I suppose you realize that this is going to go down on your permanent record. Right, get your scythe out and poke the creature in the eye. Calavera, you're losing a fight, so you pick on one of my pets? Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying to show you how, but you don't listen. If you just adopt the proper attitude, just look what could happen to you. Name? Pugsy Feligiano, sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. Glories! Glories! It does mean. Glories? Where'd you go this time? Okay. You're three done. <laughs> One more year to go. So we it's about like three years playing it, isn't it? I don't know. We can go in here. Okay. Or down here. Downstairs. Downstairs. Yeah. God, he's like a whippet. Look at him. Oh, Gladys would and love these. Nothing in the cab but donut boxes and coffee to go cups. Looks like standard DOD issue. Open the coffin. Oh. Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed me in there! You could have at least given me a magazine. Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug. What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah, wait, I'm getting out of here. This world's for suckers. <laughs> okay, keep the mug and then walk up the stairs. Do you reckon if we finish this game, that we'll actually Daddy! get all of the achievements as well? Go up there and see! We can't get all the achievements because you have to play it in a Where certain way. Everybody? Uh, that we should have done from How the start. How long do they have to wait yeah. in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine, and they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double-end tickets is very severe. But they didn't sell their tickets. Their tickets were stolen. By who? 
Hector Le Mans stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. Okay. Like they're going hell. So, do we go in? Um. Do we go left? Did you did you get a letter from Hector from on the from the guy at the top? From that weird guy. No. What happened to that train? Your destiny cannot be purchased. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. Oh, it actually it says someone when else you is trying to bring no. tickets. Oh, right. That is all. Sorry. The tickets are in El Maro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. Right, it says head part way down. All the way back to El Maro. Head part way downstairs. Down these stairs. Oh, it just says downstairs. Recently, I was visited by a bird it's with a tough. human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my? He knew you, and for you, he left this note. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. Híjole. Okay, where now? Okay. Head part way downstairs and then turn to the right. We should find Glottis. Glottis. Hear the name of the Great One. Glottis. Glottis. What's happening? It says, work your way oh, through all of the dialogue options for the little guy. But well, we've been hiking for months. Not and months. enter the kitchen. Oh, then the noble one will what? surely die. But... What's wrong with him? Do you not know the one purpose, the one skill, the one desire of this humble spirit? Yes, but we've been so far away from cars and civilization for so long. Why? Why did he ever leave his home? I, uh, I got him fired and then I needed a ride. Oh, Gladys, what have I done to you? Can you cure him? His spirit has fallen so low, normal driving would not cure him in time. He needs to go faster. Faster! Faster! Do you have any vehicles here that we could use to yes, revive him? Beach. Only the trucks that deliver the souls. But they are slow. So slow. Who are you guys? We are mechanics. But we have never before seen one of our kind, so... So large! I've got to go see what I can do. Come back quickly, for his time here is not long. Okay, go down into that kitchen that's underneath. There's a note next to this toaster. To avoid further mishaps, Please butter your English muffins after you toast them. Facilities. Okay. It says... It's the mug rack at the end of the world. <laughs> Put your mug on the mug rack. 
Well, the mug tree. I've already got a mug, and quite a handsome one at that, I'm Oh, add. the one we've picked up. Yeah. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. <laughs> now, have a rifle through the drawers and, drawers and see if you can find a rag. It's full of rags. Dick rag. Always a good idea to have a clean rag around. <laughs> okay, it says go outside and use it on the red oil canister. Your to the mother left doesn't work it. here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the facilities department. Never guess to do all this. No. Makes no sense. This better not stay in my pocket. <laughs> don't you don't have to put it away, just carry it and put it in the toaster. What was in that mug? Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket. rocket. If only we had more. Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great glottis. Speed bring you life. Come back to us someday. Things in this last year, isn't there? Yeah. You sure this thing's going to hold together? Uh, at least most of the way. Hey, look! We're all ready to move a cover. Benny? Benny? Benny, where are you? Benny, I'm frightened! <laughs> It's a liability, isn't it? Jesus. Yes. Ah, Rubicava! What a town! Remember the glory days, Manny? Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now. Except maybe our old car. Dios mio! She's been booby trapped. By who? Don't we know? <laughs> <laughs> Genius. Okay. Um, Those dominoes are like one long fuse. <laughs> so we need to go to the docks and talk to Valesco. Docks. Can't remember how to get to the docks. Oh, I think it's the that one, yeah. yeah. Manuel Calavera? <laughs> or, well, what happened to the limbo? Hate to tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to... The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket? Where is she? Oh, well, we traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob town. 
but... Thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Where does the butter? Here I come. Mob down. Um, apparently there's a bottle there somewhere. If you can find it, I can't see it. There we go. Take it. Maybe I'll just finish this for him. <laughs> so we need to go to the blue casket now. And we need to go to the kitchen. And we use the um, the bottle on the keg. That's what the Lombaker okay. diorama needed. Fake ocean water. Um, you can leave there now. We, we should be accosted by Olivia on the way out. Calavera, what are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. Okay, I exit the cafe and head back towards Meshe and Glottis. Okay, you need to give that bottle to Glottis and get him to drink it. What's that? It's a uh, lumbago lemonade. Try it. Mmm. Perkly little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes, siree. Not bad tall. <laughs> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. Manny, aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry, this won't take long. Oh, oh. My stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. Oh, you gotta talk to him and make him sick. Oh, I don't like this bit already. So what is that stuff they pack canned hams in anyway? <laughs> Oh. Uh, I wish I'd zoomed in on you for this. <laughs> oh, it's turning my stomach. Oh, wow. sure, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. Right, we can head south now to Toto's. What, to let the vomit settle? <laughs> I don't know why we had to do that, but it's fucking gross. Right, Toto's is the tattoo place, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this game, this game is gross. I've just read, read what we've got to do next. Okay. <laughs> um, in the medicine cabinet, there should be some liquid nitrogen. Not we need that. Hurt. It's a little cabinet. You asked for bunny. Okay. 
Okay, go now back to Glottis, freeze dry his vomit. vomit. Got to and fro in. Um, yes, we wouldn't be this game if there wasn't a lot of to and fro in. To and fro in up. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> See what he's okay. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Oh. Okay, now you can go disable the bomb. Hey, good idea. I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? Okay. It, I don't know how to do this. Doesn't say. Oh, well, here goes nothing. Looks like Hector's taken over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. It was a trap! Stand back. There's only one thing to do. <gasps> Thank you, sir! You have saved me! But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement! What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. Time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've longed to be of service to your cause for years. Have you got control of him now, yeah? Yeah. Okay, grab the arm of the soldier on the floor and then speak to me speak with Meshe. Meshe? Better save this part from sprouting. Okay, here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector. And a gun, so we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. <laughs> okay. Hey. So, I'm now leave the building. Hey. Leave the building, go past the bone wagon, and climb up the next two ladders until you see your backstage at the casino. Look out! Pa, 
past two ladders. No, climb up the ladders. All right. Well, I remember that first time we were playing it and we couldn't even climb up a ladder. I know, right? <laughs> We've come so far. <laughs> Right, and up that one. Even though it says casino there, it did say climb up two ladders. Right, there we go. Okay, pick up the coffee pot. It's not like Johnny Thunderlet's just anybody in his review. No. I mean, be yes, a privilege. Yes. So I said to her, you give me that 10% discount, or I'm taking my business elsewhere. You said that? Well, oh, yes, I was mad. You... Mmm, show business coffee. Then go up the ladder no, by the former. Kidding. By where? So I think it's that I'm one busy. behind it, it just looks like a. Past the. No. Uh, as soon as I save up enough go money for ladder. a double in ticket, am I. You see it? What? You can't just buy a double N. Well, I know somebody yeah. who knows somebody who knows uh, Hector yeah. Lamont. Wow, talking. you know everybody. Well, I guess so. Yeah. And the director says... Oh, <laughs> don't listen to what it is now. <laughs> you are a real amateur? Oh. Okay, I'm presuming now you're going to tip the coffee pot over the port performer's head. Oh, yeah. This coffee's already ground. So what did you... Ah! Oh! oh, what did you do that for? I didn't. I... You melted my makeup. I can't go on like this. I took you under my wing, and this is how you pay me back. No, no, it's not like that. Okay, climb back down and then go into the dressing room. Hey, kid, put that coffee away. This is your lucky day. We got an opening, and you're the newest Thunder Boy in the Johnny Thunder Review. Yes, I've been working for this moment all my life. Then sit on down. We got to start your makeup. Now, don't go too far. You never know what time is showtime around here. Okay. And it says, now go back up the ladder and place the arm into the grinder. I didn't see a grinder up there. I did. There we go. <laughs> right, climb back down the two ladders. Your body was serving the cause like this. <laughs> go back down, you say. Yeah, take the gr um, take the grinder. Sorry. Okay, take the grinder, then head back down the ladder and the next ladder. So that one. And then that one down there, that's it. Okay, you want to walk through that doorway that's got casino written by it. Head left and approach the slot machines. Speak to the LSA agent in the trench coat a few times. Hey, what's going on under that raincoat? I don't know. What's going on under that makeup? Agent Calavera! You? Didn't Salvador chop you in half early this evening? Yes, which has given me this glorious opportunity to serve the cause by gathering funds for the LSA while stealing from my arch enemy at the same time. Okay, so 
he moves every time you talk to him then maybe what exactly are you doing it says because oh, he's right I'll stick myself right. inside like a finger down the throat of Hector Limons himself, and I'll make the machine regurgitate the wealth it has devoured. Yeah. Can you crack any machine? None of these unholy temples is safe from the LSA. Mira! Can you crack any machine? Okay. Oh. Do we have the machine that we need him to climb None of inside? these unholy temples is safe from the LSA. Yeah. Okay, speak to Mesh now. Hola. No. no it's not Mesh then. Buenos dias. Back off, sleaze baller. My husband here will bust your jaw. Hey, these work without money. Maybe Hector's not all that bad. I knew it. They're all fixed. Um, it says you put a sheet over, put the sheet over Charlie. What sheet? And who's Charlie? Is this Charlie? Don't know. That's the LSA agent, isn't it? Mechi, it's me. Manny? That's some costume. Here, help me get Mr. High Roller here into this sheet so we can get out of here. Hey, is that you, young lady? I'll get you. God. Um, then talk once more to the agent so that he forces the machine to pay out. Hey! Special assignment just in from Salvador. Help! Oh, fuck. Crack that machine and leave the change right away. Yes, sir! Not funny. Young lady. Ah. Young lady. Funny. Ah. Oh, for crying out loud. I did it. My system worked. I knew it. I told you. That's great. Now let's go so you can buy me a drink at the Romano. I'll meet okay, you at now... the station with the tickets. There won't be one for me, so you'll have to go back by yourself. I'll tell that gatekeeper everything. He has to help us. Come, my lovely. I have another infallible system I'd like to demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go into the bathroom and finish your disguise. Complete your disguise. Tight in the shoulders, but at least it doesn't reek of sled dog. <laughs> okay, head back to the LSA headquarters. You can remember how to get there? I think so. Oh, it's down there and down again, isn't it? He doesn't run and climb as well, then, does he? No. Sure. Some of the other ladders, he just appears at the bottom as well. Yeah. That's at the top and then just appears at the bottom. <laughs> okay, there should be a photo in the secretary, Ava. You're never going to let me forget the secretary thing, are you? Yeah, so what, sorry? Photo in the rubbish bin. By the front door there. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Okay, use Hector's note on the skeletal pigeon and give it the photo. If I show him this photo, he'll fly off without anything to deliver. 
So give him the letter first. So you can't combine items on this, can you? That's it. Okay, don't bite. This is a note. You like notes, remember? I'll now give it the photo. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. Go, baby, for la revolucion! I've been watching. I'm coming to sprout to myself. George truly, Hector Lemans. I knew it. I knew he was out to get me the whole time. But you'll never find my secret out at all. You're going to have to find yourself another Flores. to head back out now towards the bone wagon <coughs> um, when we see it take a right to enter the different section of the sewers give me that I saw Bowsley run down here where did he go? So, okay. Hello down there. Ooh, never mind. Go back to sleep There's, wherever you are. Use the grinder after you hear a growl. Anyone down here? Monsters? Again? I've heard two growls now. Okay. As you progress through the tunnel, you suddenly find an alligator block in your path. Bowsley's probably in that maze. But I'd never be able to find them without, well, without something really helpful. Okay. You've got the hydraulics, haven't you? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to read this out. It says, make your way towards the right-hand tunnel and then use the grinder after you hear a growl. So use the grinder now because you've just heard the growl, yeah? And you're in the right hand tunnel. Hmm, the flakes of boners. Okay. I think I could follow the trail this way, but I need a little light. Baby tears. Hey, what's that? That was no, not that. The thing coming at us. <laughs> Use the remote device to jack up the boat wagon's hydraulic. And then have Manny um, climb onto the ledge that's on the right hand side of the screen. That ledge looks like a safer place to be, but can't reach. 
That ledge looks like a safer place to be, but can't reach. I'm presuming Manny's got to get onto the bone wagon. There you go. No, he's on the ledge now, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, walk along it towards the ladder to the opposite end and then start climbing down. When the alligator turns around, activate the remote control to bring the bone wagon crashing down on the creature's tail. I'm presuming you. Oh, there we are. You could. You can walk into the shop. Hector. Okay. Hector, is that you? Use the size on the bell I'm, above the door. I mean it. I'm not feeling too rosy. I'm having. I feel. I'm thinking I better. Things are gonna change around here. Leave and then come back oh, in. What you just did? You just open. You get out of here right now. I'll let you have it. I'll. Right and go back in, and he should greet you now. Hey there, stranger. <laughs> Can I help okay. you? Um. Uh, I'm looking for something in a nine millimeter. Oh well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. There you go. Would you like some baby's bread to go with that? Sure. All right. Here you go. Do you have a great casino? Day? And talk to the dog in the lift. Do what? Oh. Um. Go back to the casino. And talk to the demon guard in the lift. The way to gain access to the private floors is to answer this character's questions correctly. Sure. Keep your eyes on the board behind Manny for the correct answer. It's always the last number listed. I'm here to conduct business with Hector Lamans. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamans, eh? Huh? Hockey dokey. Then answer me this one simple question. Ha, huh, okay. What is Hector Lamans' specific gravity in units of 1,000 per? Three? It says it's always the last number. Three. Yeah, listed. well, that was an easy one. Too bad, I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamont. Okay. Um, when you reach Hector's floor, work through the conversation options with Kelso and his wife. Until you convince them. Celso uh, Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lamont's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you? If you don't mind me asking. I'm your travel agent. Oh, I have a travel agent already. But he's miles away mopping floors in an automat, so I suppose the position is open. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. 
What can you tell me about these double-end tickets? This price seems much more than double. Yeah, they cost you mint because they save you mint. Do you admit to well, it or? They cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? The real question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho. Don't try any of that tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. You want them to make a deal of Hector's deal. So you want to convince him what to buy exactly the ticket. What are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. Now, doesn't he look like Bruce Forsyth? Pardon? Doesn't he look like Bruce Forsyth? Oh, right. Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell I know you he's dead as well now, but... Yeah. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... I just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. Okay, try and follow them in when they try and get into Hector's. Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent, excellent. The little lady changed your mind, eh? No, actually it was your agent over there. Well, I, 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 of course. He's one of my... Well, come on in, let's chat, shall we? Go on, try and follow him in. Ah, still got it. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. Back in your own office. Your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr. My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> oh, Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the Campos pile. Okay, so you'll find yourself on the ledge of the casino. Go towards the ladder, try to climb up it, then look for a crack in the supporting girder of the sign. Use the grinder on this crack, then use the sproutella on it to shatter the support. Not picking that up. 
I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the leg's pointed too far down, and it looks like Hector blew the motor. Oh, there's the crack in the girder. Here? Yeah. What am I using? So, use the grinder on it first. Kinda. Yeah. You want to fill it with bones, and then you're going to use the sprout teller on it to make the bones turn into oh, flowers. I presume do something to it. Okay, now you can go up the ladder. And he should be able to slide down. Aye, Chihuahua! Nearly finished. It's yours. Don't forget to send for help. back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. Oh, Manuel. Time for you to swing, daddy -o. Let's see you walk. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. So we're going this way? Um, yeah, we need to go up towards the greenhouse. Before we go to this little... Yeah, up towards the greenhouse and go inside. Why did she park so far away? I don't know, but you can run. I'm doing. I can't see. My internet's so terrible. It's just jumping from scene to scene. This is the way in. I just hope there's a way out. She loves me not. Well, you're half right. Oh, Manny, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double-end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour because that idiot Bowsley ran off with all their fast acting sprout here. Now, the slow stuff will sprout you, but it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Manny, where are you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> Get it? Leave. <laughs> Tell me when you've got control of Manny again, because I can't see it. No. Okay, using liquid nitrogen on the, on his wound. On the floor. Uh, ah! Ah! Gracias, Toto Santos. Right now, we need to get back down to the car and look in the back seat and speak me, with babe. Sal. One of you must be mine. Salvador? Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right. And tell Eva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. For when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you... Hey, get out of there. Farewell, my friend. What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, now open up the suitcase and take your scythe from inside. Hey, my scythe. Okay. Well, what do you know? Sal Grab had that to ticket. get all along. You up? Grab the ticket. Then walk behind the greenhouse to locate San Sal's body picking using the ticket. Said it's not picking that up. No. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Right, yeah, it's yeah. picking that up. Back up this effing hill. <laughs> Go. Thank you for subscribing again. I've just checked chat and I noticed that you subscribed for 19 months. Thank yeah, you. I'm currently on an 11 month streak. I know. How right? it's not a 19 month streak? I don't know. Because you used your hands. I haven't missed the didn't you? Oh, of course. Yeah, I did. Yeah. It's okay, I've been checking chat all the way through. <laughs> oh, good. So it's around the back, is it? Yeah, apparently so. But we're supposed to be using the ticket to find it, so... Don't know how that works. It seems to be attracted to something over this way. help you with this bit. <laughs> Seems to be attracted to something over this way.
this game should be called Point and Hope, shouldn't it? Well, yeah, I've kind of narrowed it down to a bit of a an area, but I don't. Should at least flash or something. Yeah. I'm not doing anything now. I'm not doing anything now. Take his car keys. He's fine right where he is. Loteria. This must be the key to Salvador's trunk. Okay, now we need to go back to the car. Lots of ammo. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. Okay, now we need to head down, down to the water tower. Now you, you've got the gun, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now use the gun on it. Okay, back up to the greenhouse. That doesn't sound good. This is the end. You can count them if you want. They're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh, demon's right free, right? Aw, oh, Manny, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assumed I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. 
Take me, Eggnog. <laughs> you were the best boss I ever had. <laughs> Bye. Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. You might as well enjoy the trip. Probably means this bit, doesn't it? Might tell you what happened to I doubt it. These people that made it. Pamela Seagull. if we'd been running late I might have skipped through these but the fact that we've rattled off this last year before nine o'clock done well done all right although there was a lot more I feel there was a lot more movie in this episode rather it was yeah yeah there's a lot more cutscene definitely <laughs> It's the first, on the first. First time to finish a full game. Uh, we've actually completed yeah. an adventure game. That works. Well, well, this is taking too long. Yeah. But yeah, I quite like the music. Yeah, I have downloaded the album. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the sort of thing I would listen to. Oh, well, yeah. there you go. That's that's the end of the the seasonal the festive celebrations the point and click extravaganza with moderator extraordinaire nutty cluster um so big thank you i'll be going back to my chat room sorry i'll be going back to my chat room going back to yes back to moderating um all the thousands of watches she has an easy job let's just say that it's not an awful lot of moderating. I have to moderate myself. That's, that's, that's a good different. point, and that's a task in itself. Isn't it? 
yeah yeah that's a good point um so then i uh well i was saying thank you for your time you spent a lot of time um in front of the camera mm -hmm. this time and mm -hmm. perhaps we need to spin the wheel <gasps> Andre's choice Andre's choice you say that, but then you'd have to do some work. I know. <laughs> um, so let's just uh, see what happens when I flick this. Done. So let's let's spin the wheel and see what we'll be doing on our um, first show after the holidays. It's not the first show of January, obviously, but just uh, that's the way it's gone. So let's see what we're doing next episode. Episode 92. <laughs> Hmm. You know it should be repopulated. And we're doing yeah. unplayed Mega Drive games. It's kind of moderator's choice. Let's just Isn't it? put it back on so we can see a face. Um yes, so Mega Drive games we've never played before. Sure. And we'll um maybe have a bit of a chat about what we got for Christmas. And all those sorts of things. Um, but until then, thank you, Naughty Cluster, for joining us. You're uh, welcome. If you want to email us, you can. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's also the name of the website, snugradio.co.uk. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then you know we're on YouTube. And if you're watching this on Twitch from 7 o'clock on a Monday night live, then you know we're on Twitch. We're on the, both those places as Snug Radio, but we're also on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok as Snug Radio. If you look on the web, on, on the web, no, on the internet, the whole internet, not just a website. If you look on the whole internet, you'll probably find us as Snug Radio. Um, and if you really want to chat and you want to get involved in some crazy shenanigans, then come and join us on the Discord. There'll be a link in the show notes. So, that's everything I think um, yeah. we'll be back again same time same place next week this has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge I've been Matt I've been Matty Custer hey. <laughs> play something retro goodbye <laughs>